to say something on it. So in today's session, Ms. Vandana Arimardhan ma'am and Mr. Ajurit Moro sir will take us to the journey of the development of educational resources which will help students envisage or visualize concepts just by listening to audio. And I'm sure that this today's session will mesmerize all of you and will you many of you would become a fan of Ajit sir because of his way of expression. So, and uh, Ajit sir and uh, Vanna ma'am, this phase includes states from southern region. So, usage of English is preferable. Over to you, both of you. Thank you. Hi. Uh, thank you very much and very good morning to all of you. Uh, uh, I am Ajit, as uh, have been introduced right now. Along with me is Vandana Arimardhan. And, and along with her is I am Rimlesh Chaudhary. And along with us in the background is Shanu. Shanu. Why don't you come and show your face? Hi, uh, hey, Shanu. Actually, this is the audio team. So, welcome to all of you. It's a wonderful time to be with all of you. As the morning is so nice, so your presence is also very nice to you. We are feeling very well and uh, uh, would like to have a pardon for a little bit of delay. Uh, it was a time, uh, I mean, it was a time for us to really have come together and to adjoin with. So we are going to uh, start this. And uh, as in the beginning, I mean, it was said that from the scratch, okay, uh, from the guttermost to the uttermost, I will say like this. So from the scratch, actually, we need to produce something else. How to create something out of nothing that we are going to talk today. And along with us, uh, today is uh, Vandana Ma'am also, and she is going to highlight on some of the production points, as well as uh, how to write and how not to write. On that, uh, Vimlesh Ma'am is also going to share her ideas with you. So it will be less a session and more a kind of the interaction in between of all of us. So just feel very, re uh, I mean, relaxed, very comfortable. So we all are, uh, we all are the fellows, you know, we all are the fellows and uh, uh, we are having a wonderful fellowship on the air. On the air, we are having the fellowship. So I must say that we are the fellows in the same ship, having the same destination. So thank you very much. So now we are about to start. Now we are about- uh, to I have to add one thing for you very beautifully uh, that one of the participants from Andaman Ms. Geeta Naveen Bhatt has written in the chat box, ma'am, in Andamans, we had creative audio program on AIR for classes one to seventh and the response was very encouraging. I myself was involved in recording and delivering the content. So this shows the excitement of the learners or the participants through, about the audio programs. Just to start with a motivating remark, over to you. Uh, it works like a tonic to us. Uh, that at least all, all people are there and having some expectation. So now we are sure that all of you are having some expectation. And if you have the expectation, it is our, I must say, the prime duty, you know, to fulfill to your expectation. So let us now go to the session now. And uh, just to actually begin, uh, at first, we would like to, uh, we would like to have you some idea on what should we expect? What should we expect from this meeting? So here comes a slide for you. And uh, Writing English. So as you see here, a uh, hearty welcome to all of uh, to all esteemed participants by uh, yeah. CIT and CRT. We are very happy to have you here. 
and uh, we are going to expect uh, now we are going to talk that what should we expect from this meeting and after the meeting is concluded we shall also have a kind of the feedback that whether uh, the needs are met or not so we are very happy to be uh, with you and what should we expect so um, we, now we are going to have some idea that what should we expect from this meeting over to one runner uh when we talk about a radio program the very first thing we uh, we uh, need to know that what uh, our audience need uh, um, are expecting from us as as educationists so our creative writing uh, depends on the uh, that expectation so the very first thing to write to start uh, creative writing is what to expect so what is creative writing with special yes, emphasis yes, yes, is on writing, writing for the audio program we are we we'll talk to about only for a uh, radio program and uh, so we are going to be very specific on uh, on actually what is the creative writing hmm. uh, without without knowing what is the creative writing or without uh, uh, having the skill on how to write it will be a futile exercise to record something because anyone can record anything just you re just you record and uh, be happy with yourself like so many people they write the book but only for their own reading yeah. so so that's not going to be our experience is going to be like what is a creative writing that we need to understand so uh, what you can see here that you can see here that a pencil you can see here a pencil that is connected uh, with an electric bulb and what does it depict that we should understand this illustration indicates very clearly that uh, uh, creative writing enlightens the mind of the people and eliminates the darkness around there are so many darknesses maybe you are dealing with the students uh, you are dealing with so many young people mainly you are in the i mean profession of teaching so important thing is that there are so many gray areas so many darknesses in their uh, lives and uh, it can be some family pressure it can be some peer pressure it can be some depression it can be some uh, i mean problem in the class it can be a sense of the failure it can be anything else they might also develop a kind of the societal tendency uh, we do not just know but uh, i would like to uh, compliment to all of you that uh, if uh, anyone knows the child more than even the parents i must say that they are the teachers isn't yeah, it the teachers, yeah. uh, because they, they the spend teachers. the maximum time with the child yeah. like uh, nowadays the situation is like this that the husband wife both most of the times they need to work they have to be in their i mean fields they need to be in their uh, working areas so the child is uh, i must say left alone and who is there to cater to the emotional and the spiritual and the mental even the physical need of the child and they are none but the teachers but, but yes and but the uh, teachers so uh, uh, indicates uh, the uh, child has uh, is surrounded by some kind of darkness whether uh, whether it can be loneliness or depression or whatever in the same phase he is uh, surrounded by a darkness of a uh, uh, comprehension of some subjects you are going to de deal with the subjects of sub particular subjects sub uh, particular uh, uh, concept so that darkness has to be removed by creative writing and and that is the place where we are standing ha uh, so how to eliminate the darkness that is the question now and uh, we must all know one thing that uh, uh, see here the what the screen says there is a difference in just writing between just writing and the art of writing anyone can write anything if i am literate i can write isn't it but it depends on how we create something mm -hmm. how to create something out of nothing as we said in the between so the words are limited it is very well said but their power is infinite so words are limited why i am saying so because if you count the i mean how many words there are in the dictionary recently we worked on the dictionary mm -hmm. isn't it so there is a limitation uh, yes. we can count yes. on how many words are there okay but uh, words are limited but their power is infinite so as we uh, as we all might have heard this uh, i am particular saying that we need to read in between the lines okay so it is a uh, so a creative writing is this kind of the art uh, listening in between well, the words yeah. of the voices okay so so, huh, yeah. so now we are coming uh, yeah. what do we mean by a creative writing point one somebody saying any ulla speed unda the comment can you keep yourself someone is saying something just mute yourself okay shall we yes sir 
हाँ सो एक्चुअली क्रिएटिव राइटिंग इज नथिंग बट इट इज वट इट इज रिटन मेकिंग इमेजेस ऑफ वर्ड इज क्रिएटिव राइटिंग स्क्रिप्ट और रेडियो स्क्रिप्ट हाँ making images by word is the creative writing, writing. that's a very simple definition yeah. we can and, say and uh, as uh, horiji said uh, the writing and just writing and writing is different the, there is a lesson in a textbook of uh, the brother of uh, ravindranath tagore his mm-hmm. brother was uh, all the time he used to uh, see him writing and writing and he was uh, uh, i mean uh, he was afraid of uh, studying in the school because it's so much of he, he used to study uh, day and day uh, night so uh, he uh, once he dr uh, once ravindra tagore saw his uh, uh, mm. uh, copy and he saw uh, there were words and words and words but there was no, not even a single sentence then only he came to know that he was just sitting there just to just to give the parents a uh, impression that i am studying but he was not studying he was not writing so just writing and writing is a uh, entirely different thing and the creative writing is something very different as we have said in the beginning that making images by the word if you are in a capacity if you develop a skill that whatever you write it it i mean builds an image it creates a picture of what is being said that is only the creative writing because you have created something out of the word okay so uh, there are some active parameters that we should understand we can uh, focus on the screen there is a flow in the language it is not intermittent if you if you are writing i mean creatively the first symptom will be there must be a flow in the language yeah. it should not it shouldn't be intermittent like sometimes the feelings are very good and sometimes the connecting words are not uh, yes. I, yeah so it must uh, it must be as we say that it is the flawless i must also say it should not be flawless yeah yeah okay it should not be flawless at all yeah. uh, the sentence must be unbreakable Unbreak. it is the creative writing uh, yeah find a uh, to add something into it uh, when you are writing for radio uh, you cannot go back and uh, and listen to the same sentence again while listening to the program so your writing should be as uh, clear just to uh, by listening just once you can uh, compre- comprehend everything the uh, which is said in the program so it has to be very clear mm-hmm. and very uh, uh, comprehensive see actually radio broadcast is not a book uh, in which you can turn the pages yes. okay yes. it is not like whatever is gone is gone yeah like we say that the river brahmaputra actually so many um, i mean millions of the cusack of the water is there but uh, most of the things go unutilized as uh, vanda ji has said right now so because we cannot turn back the pages so what was said right now that uh, it depends on how you write in what manner you write that we are going to talk very soon uh here are some examples of the creative expressions these are some expressions so uh we will do the i mean first the uh, there are two formats like the informative writing informative writing means just inform just information like uh, uh, i am informing something and there is no any lacuna of the information information is already there but it can be uh, it can be a good information but at the same time it is it is quite possible that it is not creative expression So here are some examples that we would like to read for you. Number one, life is very busy and we haven't time. Life is very busy and we haven't time. It means it uh, defines very well about the modern life pattern. Okay, it defines it defines very well. But if I say it in a very creative way, what should I say? What is life if full of care? We have uh, we have no time even to stand and stare. Ah, huh. what is life if full of care? we have no time even to stand and stare that's a wonderful expression you know life is very busy and we don't have time the sense is same meaning is same but it is a very creative way to say something what is life if full of care oh we have no time even to stand and, and stare say. and stare isn't it so it is a very creative expression that is one of the example yeah. so we have created something like what have we created now let us analyze the elements number 1 full of care life is very busy and we have no time it uh, it seems uh, in comparison to this very blunt mm, yes <clears throat> if someone who is not happy at all he will say life is very busy yeah? we don't have time okay but uh, if some one is in a mood to say something in a very expressive way he will say what is life if full, full of care, care we have we have no time even to stand and stare we have no time even to stand and stare matlab uh, it's a wonderful expression acha one thing more 
uh, if we come to point two. What is written in point two? Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Okay, but it seems also very blunt. You know, I may not be happy. Okay, thank you. Thank, I mean, thank you very much for your coming. I am, okay, well, I'm happy that you have come. Thank you for coming. Yes. Say it very bluntly. Yes, thank you for coming. Uh, thank you for coming, okay? <laughs> but the very expression, but the very expressive way can be. Thank you for the compliment of your visit. Yeah, thank you for the compliment of your visit. You know, yes. so it seems to be very creative. It seems to be very creative. And uh, actually, which one, uh, which one of the sentence will touch the heart of the people? Uh, option one or two? Obviously, oh, obviously second. second one, creative yes. writing. Thank you for the compliment of your visit. And uh, yes. this is such a sentence which will be remembered by the one who has visited you. Know? Yeah. Huh. But the thing, the thing is, when you're uh, writing uh, some, uh, you're doing some creative writing, even that these sentences, if for informative uh, writing, these sentences can be used creatively. If a person who is blunt, a boss or something, someone you want to portray him like that, you can use these sentences, yes. informative writing as creative. So uh, the, the mood of the program the, and your subject and the target audience, everything depends on the what kind of creativity you are using. So it is, that is creativity. So the many ways of saying same thing on different situations. This is the creative writing. Uh, one thing more that I would like to add that uh, if you're talking about the, about the creative writing, creative writing is yielded from the creative thinking. Yeah. If thinking is not there, what will I write? <laughs> I will not write anything. So it depends on how creatively <laughs> we think. Okay. So how to develop a creative thinking. Mm -hmm. Some more examples that, uh, and it's a very famous, uh, I mean, poem that all of you know, but, uh, uh, how Robert Frost, how he expressed his, uh, I mean, feeling in a very creative way. But let us see at first how not to say it or how to say it bluntly, like. Forest was beautiful and I wanted to stay, but had some work, so couldn't do this. Huh. Forest was beautiful and I wanted to stay there, but uh, had some work, so could mm. not stay there. Yeah. Okay. And the same thing, all of you must be knowing this, and I love this, uh, I mean, couplet of the poem very much. And uh, it's very creatively said. Woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep. Uh, here for the word beautiful, we have used lovely, dark and deep. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we are going the extra miles. Yeah. We are measuring the extra length. Mm. Okay, so here we see woods are Words are beautiful. Uh, forest. forest was beautiful, but I wanted to stay. I wanted to stay, but uh, I had some work, so I could not stay. <laughs> but uh, the very creative way of saying would be, words are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep. It is also one of the good expressions. <laughs> Just example, you all must be knowing this. Uh, two more examples now. Uh, like one I will read and the second Vandanaji will read. So it is also, the, I mean, the information. Information is same. A mother knows the child well. A mother knows the child nine months more than anyone. Yes. A mother knows the child nine months more than anyone. But yes. the, uh, it's very emotional statement. like, And uh, represents the, I mean, the, I should not say the value, but the dignity of the women. And it's mm -hmm. a wonderful thing. Like how to say, and I believe that if a woman is going to listen to this, I mean, option two. Uh, they are going to choose. Yeah. I mean, isn't it? So again, we will read it. A mother knows the child well. It's a statement, okay? But how to say it beautifully? A mother knows the child nine months more than anyone. Than anyone. So it is an example of the creative writing. One last example. After that, uh, it will be over to my colleagues. And uh, here, uh, very simple sentence, okay? Uh, Vimlesh uh, Ji will read this. Writing for radio is a skill. Writing for radio is a skill. Do you believe it is? Yes, it is. Yes, it, it is a is. skill. But how to say it more beautifully? Yes. How to say it more beautifully? Rather, how to say it more creatively? Okay. Yes. We have two options. So now table one will be read again. Uh, please focus on the last point. Writing for? Radio is a skill. And now Vanda ji is saying it in a beautiful way. <laughs> writing, <laughs> writing for radio is writing visually for the ear. Yes. <laughs> Writing for the radio is not only writing. Mm. Uh, some experts do say that writing for radio uh, is writing for ear. Mm. We will not say like this. Mm, yes. We are going to change this now. Mm -hmm. And we have changed this now by saying writing for radio is writing visually for the, ears. For, the ears. for the ears. That means you write in such a way that you give the opportunity to the listeners to visualize yeah. 
and you are writing for the ears yet you are using their mental eyes yeah. so again we are we are coming to this example writing for radio is a skill and how to say it beautifully writing for radio is writing visually for the ear yes uh, once again yeah. once again we are once again <laughs> huh, we, yes yes we are bully, uh, bully. <laughs> This is the thing we are going to do. This is the thing you need to um, expect. And uh, and actually, my dear friends, it had been our uh, I must say the business, our profession yeah. uh, since very long. So uh, it, uh, so you are left with a challenge yeah. when we are in this seminar. Uh, at the now we are talking on what to expect, mm -hmm. and uh, at the end of the seminar we will say what should we expect from you. Yeah. And we expect from you that how do you write for radio visually. Uh, for the ears of the listeners. Okay. Oh, yes. So we are going to the next point now. Ayega, right. Back. Huh. Uh, here we see writing for the radio. What are the challenges in this? Writing for the radio, uh, you do not have camera. Huh, we do not have camera. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have then? You have only just a microphone, one or two. Ha, huh, one or two. Yeah. Hmm? And you are talking to a blind, blind friend. friend. Blind friend. Blind friend. But saying this blind friend is not a derogatory sentence. Yeah. Blind friend means uh, I am not saying that the other party is blind. Even I am blind. Yeah. When I am studio, because we are not we looking at each other. We okay. Are not looking ha, so talking to a blind friend. We are hmm. talking to a blind friend. And here you can see <laughs> that the image of the ear and it is written writing for the ear. Okay. So now. Uh, we are coming to this particular point once again. And now we are coming to you. I mean, in a full screen now. Huh. Are you happy to see us? <laughs> uh, talking to a, talking to a, what did I say? To a blind friend. Blind friend. What do we mean by, to, by talking to a, by talking to a blind friend? Uh, someone may be offended, you know, uh, he had said me blind. No, it is not like this. It is just a kind of the phraseology. It's a phrase. I mean, I mean, phrase basically like uh, we do not have, uh, I must say. Yeah. <clears throat> right. So uh, right now we are, uh, I, uh, uh, we are sitting in uh, the studio of iRadio and we are talking to you, but we are not talking to our our blind friends, okay? Mm -hmm. We can see you all. But when we are connected through just a microphone, like uh, I always used to have this microphone. I, okay. <laughs> again, the second mic. The wonderful tool. <clears throat> so Vandana ji is having it right now. Yeah. And you know, this mic, you know, that in the beginning was the word. Everything was created by the word. And you're talking to a blind friend, you just have one means and one means and one means, and that is, that microphone. is a microphone. That is a microphone. Okay. So uh, she is going to talk to you, but uh, uh, I would like to add something. Someone has said a beautifully, beautifully he has said, This is microphone. Now, Vannaji and Vimlesh, both of you come like this. I just smile with the microphone <laughs> and address to the audience say hello. 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 Hello, everyone. <laughs> and good morning to all of you. <laughs> Jawaharlal Nehru has said, hmm. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, if you smile with the microphone, the world is going to smile with you. Yes. Yet you are not looking at us. Right now you are looking at us. But uh, if I smile, if you are going to speak something on mic, na, just smile. Because if you don't smile, you should not expect the others to smile. Yeah. Should not say that they are not looking at us. Na. They are not looking at us. Na. So I will, uh, uh, I will make my mood and I will say, hello, friend. Okay. That's not there. The frequency uh, gets deliberate it. Mm -hmm. See, again, so someone has said that uh, uh, now Vannaji is going to express something wonderful. Someone has said, I mean Pandit, uh, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, that if you smile with the microphone, world is going to smile with you. Now she is going, now, now she is going to announce a very sad news, the demise of Lata Mangeshkar. So if you cry with the microphone, okay, so when you cry with the microphone, when you cry in front of the microphone, the world is going to cry with you. Like it's a news item. Just. Uh, uh, every Indian is now very sad. very sad and mournful of the loss of our great singer, Bharat Ratna. 
लता मंगेशकर ब्यूटीफुली ब्यूटीफुली सेट यू कैन से यू कैन सेंस द सोमवर ऑफ द वॉइस द ग्रेविटी ऑफ द वॉइस Okay, so we cannot say friends. So we oh, yeah. are going to announce to you. No, we cannot say like this. We cannot say like this. Breaking news: Lata Mangeshkar is no more. Ha! Huh. We cannot we, say like this. And the it will break is, the hearts, you know. It yeah. will. No, you cannot. <laughs> so uh, there is a, I mean, methodology to speak something else. So, uh, like I am smiling with the microphone. Uh, friends, we are very happy to be in the midst of uh, all of you, and we are very happy uh, this morning that. Uh, and we know that all of you are driving right now and you are in the car and you are listening to me right now but uh, you must be very happy you know by the announcement that i made yesterday that today uh, we will we shall have in the midst of us we shall have in the midst of us what did i say friend what did i say we shall have in the midst of in the midst of us ms dhoni okay and i am smiling i am smiling here so uh, automatically even the listeners are going to smile but the way uh, she has presented right now that lata mangeshkar is no more she has said that we cannot say it is a breaking news you know it is going to break the heart of the yeah. people that we do not have even the mannerism how to speak mm. so it is about the it is about the expression so what you give uh, on the mic is received as it is by the listener yes, so uh, so what you are talking about what is the uh, content of that uh, uh, script you need to have um, the i mean uh, you need to know how to present it the voice level the frequency the pitch and everything if you are, if you does the content is sorrowful it has to be like that it has to be presented like that it has to be written like that and if the subject is very uh, uh, i mean uh, uh, happy so the thing should be the words the mood and the uh, the writing the the sentences has have to be like that only uh i remember uh before we go to uh, some of the elements of like what we call the dhwani alankar or onomatopoeia i remember i remember one of the incidents uh, all of you know about uh, thomas alva edison uh he was the one who uh, invented the electric bulb uh and after when uh, he invented the electric i mean uh, the electric bulb uh he was called for a press conference and so many people were there all gathered together and they they were talking to each other and the entire united states of america and the entire world i must say was very happy on this historical i mean invention and uh, it was a press conference and someone asked him that uh, mr edison uh, for how many times did you make the mistake for how many times he said more than two more than 2000 times and the press reporter was shocked that for 200 times after 200 times after 2000 times i am sorry he said that for more than 2000 times so he said that then you must feel very sorry about the mistakes so he said but i am not uh, i am not very sorry for the mistake that i that i made the mistake for 2000 times rather i will be very happy that i have explored 2000 uh, to i mean 2000 times the ideas which do not lead to the invention of the electric bulb and it is the same thing that that uh, you may continue to write and write and sometimes you may feel that uh, maybe the script is boring but and you are not trying to you are not trying to uh, uh, and you are not reaching to your goal but uh, i must say that keep on trying and trying and trying and it is going to help you so now we are going to the next slide uh, Huh? Ah, uh, there is a word. Uh, I mean, previous slide. Again, previous. Right. Here we see. Uh, we can read this. Thus, you have to use uh, uh, because we know we have only the microphone and we do not have any other. Uh, I mean, medium to express. So, thus you have to use such words and frame, such sentences which accommodate the variables of sound. Which is called the onomatopoeia. It's a very good word. Uh, Hindi में इसको ध्वनि अलंकार बोलते हैं. Onomatopoeia. So, radio script, I must say, it is uh, overladen with the onomatopoeia. You know, it is overladen. It is, uh, it is not underladen. Mm -hmm. It is overladen. यानी yani as much as the possibility of the sound, you write in a way that most of the sounds. How can you accommodate most of the sounds? It is onomatopoeia. We are going to the next uh, uh, slide. Right. Uh, here. 
I can write in simple expression. The cup fell from the table. But if I use the onomatopoeia, I will say the cup fell from the table and broke. So what is the scope here? That we can we have the sound, sound effect. effect. Ah, sound we... effect of uh, breaking uh, the breaking of uh, the cup. Hmm. The cup fell from the table. Okay, but uh, here we are not sure that what happened with the cup. Yes. Here we are. Uh, uh, here we are well informed that the cup. What what has happened with the cup? And uh, the creative uh, expression is uh, if you are saying in the script, uh, someone is uh, having tea. Uh, Mama, the tea is very tasty. Sudden a sound of breaking of the uh, cup, and you you have uh, you have minimized the script with uh, you have used the you have used the sound effect and you minimize the script with the uh, by the words, and still you are using uh, the dhwani alankar. Ha, the dhwani alankar, which is the onomatopoeia, right? Yeah. Okay. The next expression can be there were birds on the tree. Okay, uh, there were birds on the tree. Fine. Grammatically not wrong. Yeah. Expression is okay. Information is okay. Yeah. And all the elements which should be there in a communication is okay. Yeah. But now we are going to uh, see it, how to write it, uh, how to, I mean, apply onomatopoeia. What is written here? The birds chirped on the tree. The birds chirped on the tree. Okay. So uh, what is the possibility of the onomatopoeia here? The possibility the is of, uh, yes. sound effects of the words. Of course, of course. We can then use the sound effects of the word. Uh, next, we can see. Beethoven was a great musician. Uh, you asked me the question, what is the onomatopoeia? <laughs> what is the onomatopoeia? The onomatopoeia is, uh, we can say here that Beethoven was a great musician uh, and he was the maestro of the piano. Yeah. Oh. When I say, when I say, I mean, musician, they're... Uh, there seems to be a little bit of confusion, yes. whether he was a violinist, violinist or, or he was a guitarist or what, or singer or what. Or singer or what? But when, but when we say he was a maestro of the piano, that means the scope of using the piano, it okay. comes here. Okay, so here. so it is the onomatopoeia again. When we say so, piano is here in this sentence onomatopoeia. Acha, <laughs> next and the last, yes. Uh, exhibition. Huh. Pain, uh, paintings of Michelangelo was greatly appreciated. Okay, very good. It's a good report. It can be a good report for a newspaper. Yep. For a newspaper, it is okay. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not for a uh, radio script writing. It is not for the radio script writing. What is written here? In the exhibition, painting of Michelangelo gathered great applauses. Uh, yes, <laughs> gathered great applauses. Right? Yes. 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 Are we gathering the, uh, I mean, applauses? Uh, from you, if, if it is so, we are going to be very happy. Okay, so, so the huh. uh, uh, mild, uh, decent crowd, uh, sound effect, and applause. Uh, so applause? you can use th these things uh, here in this sentence. Uh, like we can say like this, now nah, how wonderful it is painted, is, isn't it? Ah, yes. Beautiful, beautiful. Like beautiful. It is beautiful. really beautiful. See, okay. See the huh, of huh. Michelangelo. Yes, that is onomatopoeia. Yeah. That is the element of the onomatopoeia. So uh, we are going to share this slide later on with you. The cup fell from the table. It is just a sentence. Okay, fine. But the cup fell from the table and broke. Yes. So we have the scope to apply the sound effects. Now we go to the next slide. Uh, uh, okay. Now we are coming to the media selection. The very first thing you when uh, you are going to start writing, writing starts much before you uh, literally write. Actually, writing starts here. When you think about the writing, uh, what to write and how to write. Writing starts there uh, in your mind. So very first thing is, it is very important to make media selection. Uh, you have uh, two or three things are there to uh, begin with. You, what is your subject? What is your uh, uh, target audience? For whom you are writing? And the uh, duration of the program, what is the, what should be the correct uh, duration of the program. Then you, it is, it is uh, finalized in your mind. Then you select on these points, what will be the most appropriate media. So then, so it is very important to make media selection. Media selection is to decide the proper media in accordance with the script. So script and media selection goes uh, simultaneously. Uh, media selection uh, in uh, to understand this in a very uh, I mean in a very simple way is uh, uh, we have to decide according to a particular script as Vanna ji has said right now 
we have to decide according to a particular script whether it is suitable for a video or what? for audio what? or for what media like mm. when we say media selection that means we have options of the media yes. we have options okay mm. so we have to select the media like for example for example calculus mathematics charts uh, numerical etc are not apt for the radio medium are, are not very apt yes, not are, very. are not very apt for the radio medium so uh, it will be better to go for the visual medium yeah. when we come to this subject so but what can be the suitable most subject vanda you have told that uh, numericals and the calculus and the mathematics uh, it seems to be uh, not a suitable media for the radio but what should be the suitable uh, topics for the radio program is uh, language so social sciences environmental sciences moral uh, studies uh -huh. uh, so uh, folk uh, music these are the many uh, uh, the topics are there for which are suitable for the radio script uh, radio scripts and uh, just uh, i mean on the way just i would like to share with you that both are very great producers here in cit and crt are uh, uh, i mean overladen with the awards you know mm -hmm. overladen but uh, they are being pressed by so many awards that they have received and they have, they have a great reservoir of the experience uh, so we have uh, already spoken here that for example the mathematical concept science concept and so many things but at the same time uh, we had uh, a debate here in cit and crt that uh, to what extent we should go for a science program or to what extent should we go for a mathematics program so vanda ji is there to speak and she will speak on this later on she has produced wonderful programs on mental mathematics also on the languages so that we are going to talk later on now we are going to the next uh, slide back 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 right hmm these are the ladders mm -hmm. you ah you so uh, from uh, right bottom to top left <laughs> <laughs> that should be the order okay okay uh, sometimes it uh, it it actually gives a kind of the confusion okay so from the right bottom bottom to the top yeah. left yeah. okay so point number 1 is interest <laughs> Yeah, yeah this is the very first thing ha uh, say something very interesting on this yeah, yes but i mean <laughs> though i'm um, you you cannot go anywhere if uh, the that interest part is not there cannot go anywhere <laughs> so if it is not interesting for writing you cannot write if it's not interesting to produce you cannot produce if it is not interesting program no listener can uh, will be there to uh, i mean listen to that and if he is forcefully is going to i mean uh, you are for, you are forced to listen to that that you must know that your uh, the media is switch offable hmm. any or maybe listener will listen only one or two minutes yes ha huh. if if, if, if it, it is it not interesting yes as we say that radio is a switch offable medium yes. uh, you are just at the tips of the finger of the listener listeners you are going to be you are going to be uh, i should not say kicked out that's not a good word but uh, we are we are going to be we are going to be looked very soon yes. so the interest is very important point and uh, but how to yield the interest how to yield the interest how to how to create the interest to actually create the interest we should do we should think what others have not yet thought of yeah we should write what others have not yet written mm -hmm. okay if i write the same thing with the others are writing that the i mean component of the interest is gone yes so when i develop the interest then i go for the next point and that is the exploration exploration what do we do in the exploration uh, explore uh, you must have um, given some uh, topic to uh, uh, to write or you 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 may yourself can uh, decide a topic the topic is there but you need to explore how uh, the uh, that uh, the how interesting that that uh, concept is and how can you uh, make it even more uh, interesting by putting some elements of uh, interest huh. in that program that you need to explore then we come to the innovation time is also now Mm -hmm. not running very short but uh, we, yeah. we have time we have time right now so the next point the next, the next element comes and that is called the innovation innovation is very important uh, one point that we had forgotten and that point was uh, in fact uh, uh, the tv is a passive medium mm -hmm. like whatever is being uh, shown is being seen mm -hmm. whatever is, is being shown is being seen like if the color of the dog is black and uh, and uh, if i raise a question that what is the color of the doggy 
all will respond it is black, it is black. okay because it is passive but yes. on radio when uh, it is not a passive medium it gives you a tremendous opportunity to uh, make the mental images about uh, uh, like the way i am saying that there was a dog okay and i am actually creating a kind of the environment by the sound it allows the audience to think in their own way and it allows them the liberty to think yeah. and they make the mental images after doing this only after navachar means or innovation means think in a way the others have not thought of then we go for the creative writing then we go for the creative writing and here comes the uh, the whatever you have uh, thought mm -hmm. of is is now uh, materialized on a paper ha huh. we are going to the next slide now again next next right so now we have this uh, slide uh, i mean in front of us and uh, we are going to talk on six main aspects in which we should uh, pay the attention or we should take care of that too. what should be what should be uh, i mean considerations when we write for the radio so we had a discussion together with the yes. team and uh, we all spoke together and uh, i requested uh, yesterday we requested rather vimlesh ji uh, in the midst of us who is right now to speak on this so what do you think about uh, what are the main parameters of writing in a very creative way both of them are yes. now going to present yes what do you think uh, if we are writing for radio uh, first of all one thing is uh, most important that is language uh, if uh, language should be as simple as possible if you are writing for radio the language of the program should be as simple as possible and we should not use uh, at the time of writing complex words and jargons in our scripting uh, what and, do you uh, mean by simple language like uh, uh, is there we, any example yes fm radio presenter are the best example for this so we can say we should use as clear as possible and precise language for writing these scripts <laughs> yeah and the the script should be written as we are talking yes actually what happens <laughs> uh, people when he, they start writing uh -huh. uh, they they write in a, in a way uh, as if they are writing for the book for print media it has to be written as if somebody is talking to someone so uh, simple sentences small sentences no complex sentences uh, should be there because uh, 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 simple, one sentence is is going to be heard only once yes so complex sentence has to be avoided and use everyday language like uh, what we are saying just uh, we have to write that uh, like we can say and uh, we should not use long sentences mm -hmm. in our scripting mm -hmm. uh, try to keep it as short as possible if we are writing for like primary class students mm -hmm. uh, we uh, we should write short sentences if we will like uh, if we will write long sentences mm -hmm. listeners may forget yeah. what we were saying yeah. yes yes so yeah. try to keep as short as possible mm -hmm. as short as possible yeah. uh, mm. uh, because the time of registration in the mm. mind mm. Yeah. when we speak on the radio because not uh, they are not looking at the object yes. so the uh, i mean possibility of the registration of so many words are very scant mm. so uh, as simple as possible as short as, as possible short as short. the sentences yeah. must be Com comprehension will be uh, much easier if the sentences are small yes. uh, i will use a word now and uh, both of them are going to explain it yeah, it's very interesting like uh, Vomiting out the vocabulary. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Shabdon ki ulti kar. Yeah. Hmm. Actually, uh, ev, uh, when we uh, grow and we we uh, um, we uh, I mean reach to a certain level, we hmm. uh, we uh, acquire some prejudices. How much we know, we are so knowledgeable, and we'll stuff everything into the mind What of the child. Yeah, yes. yeah. I will stuff everything <laughs> into the. mind of the child yes. who is listening you, uh, you for the first time why he will not listen why will not i will listen? make him learn i yeah. will make him learn whatever you know? i yes, yes whatever hmm. i gained up to this uh, age or at this level i will give everything now and in this very particular script i will give everything yes. how dare you not to learn <laughs> yeah so so what happens ki uh, we we talk too much and we say nothing yes. actually it happens so say some say little say small and give as more as you can mm. so this is the very no vomiting of vocabulary don't show don't show don't, your knowledge don't try to put everything in one script yeah yes and don't try to bring the child to your level just go to their level mm. if we are writing for radio target audience is also most important actually if we are writing for primary classes mm. so uh, target audience 
uh, it should be like a interesting and uh, rhythmic and dramatic uh, writing we can write mm -hmm. if we are writing for uh, secondary classes senior uh, classes uh. so it sh it should be it can be based on facts and more informative so uh, we try to write uh, in an interesting manner for primary classes yeah. especially so, so so okay you have said interesting manner yes. but uh, what can be uh, any of the elements which makes a program very interesting what like, should we do to make a program very interesting like uh, any example do you have use anecdotes and links with the wow. theme of the program yeah. yes yes mm. yeah yeah and uh, as uh, vimlesh ji uh, rightly said uh, this, uh, keep in your mind the target audience if you are, as he as she mm. said if you are writing for young children, young children you you know that uh, their uh, attention span is very less, yes. less. their vocabulary is very small i mean uh, they they are they have a, a life span of 5 years so they are uh, surrounded by a, a few family members and some students so they their vocabulary their experience is very limited so go to their life experience up to this level their sentences their words their language and then write so uh, uh, rhymes songs games these are the things you can use for the uh, primary level but as she said documentary and factual based program can be yeah. meant for senior secondary senior level. secondary yes. yes because as she said because uh, uh, senior secondary uh, uh, student they don't have time for games and everything. they just go and they, they just and they, their attention span is very big they can go up to half an hour yes. and, so uh, the program should be written in that uh, uh, style for senior secondary uh, this can be more informative yeah and if we will talk about duration mm. duration also depends on target audience yeah. who is your target audience mm. uh, if uh, again these are uh, your primary classes students so you should write uh, at uh, uh, 5 to 10 minutes because their spend time is very less as vandana ma'am said so we should write uh, as short as possible also mm. we should write as uh, simple as possible mm. and uh, sentence should be as short as possible and uh, duration for yes, primary well. classes especially mm. as short as possible mm. So try to keep as short as possible. Uh, as short as possible. So yes. thank you very much for these all informations. Like it can be registered, yes. uh, right? Yes. And uh, uh, yes, uh, spoken very well, uh, expressed very well. Yeah, you know? and this, are, this is the thing she uh, she said in, in a small sentences, hmm. and it's a repetitive sentence. So this is the quality of radio script writing. The yes. quality of radio script quality. Yes, yes, of course, hmm. of course, that is there. So. now we are going to the next uh, i must say the aspect of the i mean uh, of the creative writing that we have already covered now we are going to talk uh, on the formats of the radio program so once again uh, we as a radio team are very happy to be in the midst of you and we are meeting in the air thank you very much for this wonderful fellowship and now we are going to uh, have some idea not every idea but some idea about the about the i mean formats of the radio program mm -hmm. formats are very important formats uh, i mean means uh, literally the structure yes, isn't it what is mm -hmm. the structure of the program like okay uh, uh, we would like to be uh, we would like to come on the full screen then we will come to this okay i will ask now vanna ji that uh, what have you produced and she will keep on shouting that i have produced the program <laughs> uh uh so mm -hmm. what did you produce uh, uh mr pro i produced uh, programs many programs in... okay okay many programs yes. so uh, uh, what are those programs uh, uh, these are uh, all these programs are radio programs i produce programs programs yes what programs what uh, these are uh, radio programs i produce programs for radio you produce programs for radio so uh, but what program <laughs> these are radio programs radio programs but what program uh, these programs are to broadcast these are all audio programs <laughs> <laughs> these all are audio programs and she kept on shouting that i have produced program are bhai what kind of program okay what okay. type of program what what type of program what program so what is the program yeah. that has to be decided by by what is the format of the yeah. program and even if you say i <laughs> read, uh, uh, let's come together uh, or if we name the program even then it doesn't mean ki what you have you produced because title of the program means nothing yes huh. so so we should know what we are producing so we are coming 
so so here comes the next slide of this program now and uh, uh, now we are going to uh, see that uh, what vandana ji had really produced she was not just a program but what was the program that we are going to see okay so i mean question number 1 is radio unpopular the i mean answer is not unpopular at all yes uh, it has gained the popularity once again and here we see that uh, a drop of the tear but it, but this is not the situation yes. radio has taken up in a very big way and uh, almost uh, about the cit we can say that right now we are having the broadcast from uh, uh, 132 stations of all india radio yeah 20 stations uh, of uh, gyanwari, gyanwari or 18 80 80 uh, of cr uh, community radio stations and yeah. 80 community radio stations yeah. okay so on and that and even i radio and and even the i radio and we are heard every day uh, around the clock here and uh, in the evening we have the live session yes. that uh, you can listen to so radio is not unpopular at all next slide we are going uh, if we go and look at the research finding we can see that uh, the i mean average of the listening of the radio has increased considerably okay we are uh, we are coming to the next next slide uh, okay 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 uh, this is one particular point which uh, we would like to focus on uh, focus on it's very important to understand this broadcasting yeah uh in uh, uh well friend all of you are from south india but you must be knowing this term sandhi vichhed hmm. sandhi vichhed okay uh, that means separating the words to um, separating one words segments. and and two segments of a particular word so uh, in english we do not have this facility but yet we can do this broad plus casting broad means something very wide yes and casting means to cast like uh, uh, fisherman casts the net okay so broadcasting Spreading, means yeah. yes yes so broadcasting means to cast the net or to cast something in a very broad area so what do we mean by the broadcasting what do we mean by the broadcasting next uh, i mean slide broad means broad means wide and uh, cast means to put so to what spread. happens then so what happens then when electronic magnetic signals are cast on vast geographical areas con- covering okay. o- overseas distance of vast land mass it is broadcast it is broadcast like yes. it can be a very good example like uh, uh, just as you just as you okay uh, mm. full screen bolna padta hai we would also like to be seen okay ha huh. like uh, i am saying right now uh, like we are sitting in the studio uh, it's our radio team and we are we, we are sitting in the studio right now and assume that we are talking from london yeah uh very much welcome my dear friends in this morning broadcast we are ha- we are very happy to be with you and we are very happy that yesterday the kind of the feedback that we received from you uh, made us overloaded with the delight we all were very happy uh, and uh, we are very happy that you are enjoying our program we are speaking from london right now and uh, some of the some of the listeners from uh, one of the indian states of the assam he wrote to us he wrote to us so what did you notice here we are speaking from london london but the other one is listening to it from assam assam, assam. so now assume the distance from london to assam okay yes. it's a very broad uh, it's a very vast landmass so uh, we are putting the radio magnetic signal in a very vast geographical area so it is broadcast because we are talking in a very broad way no. uh, we are covering a very broad distance now the slide So, friends, in simple language, broadcast covers a vast distance of landmass. It is mainly used for international news, cultural propaganda, and exposure of particular country to other nations. Ah, uh, it is a broadcast because we are covering a very vast geographical area. Next slide. Narrow casting. Ah, uh, what is narrow casting? Simply. opposite of broadcasting <laughs> yes yani which is not broad is which is not broad is uh, narrow narrow yes <laughs> but cast is there we are putting up huh? spreading it huh? when when radio signals are cast or thrown or put in short geographical distances or to a narrow land mass it is called narrow cast narrow cast these stations are also called fm stations or community radio how many community radio stations do we have right now we have 80 community radio stations 80 community radio stations across the country across wow the country, it's yeah. really wonderful and anything else about this 
the uh, narrow cast focusing on a specific area yes. community so that is why it is called community radius almost it is called i mean 50 uh, 15 kilometers to 20 kilometers of radius yeah on that only because they very precisely talk to a a specific uh, i mean specific community like yes. uh, it is in the south india so there is a community radio i remember kadalo side okay that's the name that means the what uh, does it mean shanu sound of the sea sound of the sea sound of the sea okay uh, kadalo side so they are uh, mainly pinpointing to the fishermen community they are talking to them mainly so it is the community radio because the area has been very narrowed and they are addressing to a particular community with their particular problems with their particular language or anything else anything else now we are coming to the formats of the radio program mm. vanna ji uh, she continued to say i produce the program <laughs> i produce the program acha what program she said i produce the radio program acha what program she said that they are going to be broadcast so they are uh, no, radio programs uh, they are radio programs <laughs> so we are now coming to for uh, this uh, documentary uh, i mean format it is doc, uh, it is format number 1 yeah. format number 1 is called radio documentary, documentary. radio documentary it is most popular that is why we are calling it uh, number 1 hmm. radio documentary is a spoken words with a supportive music radio formats hmm. devoted on non fiction narratives hmm. non fiction means everything should be uh, factual everything should be documented and uh, no imaginary things uh, yes. uh, everything i mean uh, it has to be some one matlab somewhere or other the facts should be there i mean uh, it has to be documented in archives or in some uh, video uh, i mean clips uh, or uh, uh, in museum i mean uh, their news i mean there should be some documentation of that particular but when ji only the research and the i mean uh, the documentation mm-hmm. is it enough how to make it more enriched to no. uh, make a documentary no that is the the collection of data it is not documentary when you collect some data and put some music support or some uh, effects and you put some beautiful uh, voice and uh, cre- and write creatively then only it uh, come it becomes documentary music support means uh, uh, if i uh, like if i uh, just a question is coming in my mind if i would like to produce a program mm-hmm. on uh, maybe jaliya wala bag yeah. uh, you have said music support what do you mean by the music support of a documentary yeah if we are, we are writing a, a, a documentary on uh, jaliya wala bag we have a facts what happened in 1919 on baisakhi uh, festival who were the uh, uh, leaders there Uh, how general dyer came what he did everything is documented mm-hmm. so our narrator uh, we wrote everything in sequential and very uh, emotional way with autopoya on a motopoya on a motopoya and then we uh, auto rickshaw has become very popular so <laughs> <laughs> auto motopoya so, can also we can say yes right so then <laughs> so the, that sequence comes and effect and then music and uh, the sound effects of bande matram or uh, uh, the uh, effect of uh, besaki and uh, rifle sound effects of rifles and everything and uh, the footsteps of soldiers uh, everything should be incorporated in that script and then it becomes a documentary but it is still it is a documentary not docu drama we can produce docu drama also in that that for which mr huroji will say something from the docu drama uh as far as the documentary is concerned she spoke about uh, the music yeah. okay about the music so uh, it must be taken care of uh, yeah. very seriously that uh, what timeline i am covering yes. on a program yeah. like uh, uh, on what year this event took place and also i must go for a deep seated research that uh, during that time what were the musical instrument mainly prevalent in the society yes. that were being used like uh, i cannot use uh, i mean ha huh? synthesizers like uh, or uh, any other kinds of uh, i mean instruments which were not prevalent on that time okay so it depends on that so uh, yeah. what will i do that i will call uh, mm-hmm. i will go to all india radio yeah. i i can go to anywhere else where there is a uh, i must say a very rich uh, reservoir of the music, yeah, music or yeah. sound effect and if it is not possible i will try to have a research and uh, then uh, i 
then we will create it in the it, studios. In the studios, yeah. Yes, it can be and recreated. Yeah, we yeah. can call a me. I mean, musician. We can have a cup of coffee and we can talk that from that particular timeline. Sir, we need to have the music. Yeah, and uh, we have, we need to have a, a deep research on it. What type of uh, uh, guns were used? So that uh, we can, uh, if you are putting the sound effect as, as we are putting the music, we need to have, we cannot use uh, machine guns or AK-47. It has to be single shot rifle. Because on that time, only this particular, this particular, uh, I mean, rifle was used. That was 303. 303. So uh, three it, is, three. It, it is radio documentary. So all the uh, aspects of radio production has to be Documentarily, uh, I mean, use the music of that time, the effects of that time, the chanting of slogans of that time. We cannot uh, use Mahatma Gandhi ki jai at that time because mm -hmm. it was not there. Yes, he did not join on he that. Did not join. So uh, it everything has to be uh, researched perfectly. So now uh, we are going to the then. Uh, I mean, next uh, item now, Vanna Ji will not say she has produced the program. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you produce on Jallianwala Bagh? I produced documentary. Yes, that was documentary. What yes. she produced? She has produced documentary. Documentary and not the not radio, radio program. program. Yes. yes, it is there. So now we are coming to the next. Uh, uh, I mean, next format of the of the radio program, yes. and uh, this is called what radio we call magazine. it in English? Radio magazine. Radio. Radio magazine. Okay, now. Hold it. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, what is a radio magazine now? Uh, we would like to come, Shanu, full screen. <laughs> they must be longing to see us. Ah. So, what is a radio magazine? We are going to talk about the radio magazine. Uh, format number one was the radio documentary. Document. Format number two is called the radio magazine. So, what is a radio magazine? Assume that it is a magazine. It is a school magazine. Okay. So. Now, what do you see here when you turn the pages and pages so, and all? First of all, the the first of all the cover, the title. So on the, the so beautiful. on the cover page, I see the, the my school building. School, yeah. Hmm? Hmm? This is uh, the before going into the format magazine. The cover. Cover, cover page is cover also page. most important yeah. thing. In fact, we are trying to say that in order to understand radio magazine, we must understand what is a magazine. Actually. Magazine yes. actually. So we are taking the example of the school magazine. Yeah. So now Vanna will tell that uh, what she is seeing in this school magazine. Cover page, beautiful cover page with the title. And you will comment on that. And with the uh, describing. It something. is very beautiful and it is describing about the, some uh, school children. School children. The what, uh, what is inside, it is showing up here. Uh, yes. Uh, page one. Page one. Now, here is in that something is uh, what is there inside. It is also here. I mean, what is going to be in this pro in this uh, magazine? It is written there. Mm -hmm. A story, a poem. A table of content. A table of content. Uh -huh. is next page is table of content. Then again, next page. Hmm? Next page is a wow. beautiful story, beautiful poem. 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 Hmm? So, in the very first uh, lesson is beautiful song, beautiful uh, uh, poem. Okay, next. next. Next is, oh wow, beautiful story. There is a story. And again, when we move on, we see a comic, a comic strip. We see a news, huh? a news element. Oh, something is there about Gandhiji also. Right. Some facts, something very important, uh, anecdote. So, and now, now it is finished. Yeah, a credit. <laughs> it is credit to NCRT. So it is finished. Complete magazine. So what did you notice on this? So many elements can be added in one radio magazine. Like we can add uh, poems, stories, quiz, cartoon-based program. In one in one radio magazine, we can put many elements. So as the pages were turned, yes. yeah. the variety was being changed. Yes. Variety, was. variety was being changed. Okay, so uh, in the magazine we saw this, and at the same time when when we present this uh, as a radio magazine, how will you uh, how will be produced? Like I am uh, going to demonstrate an example. Like friends, uh, 
welcome to this broadcast and uh, once again we would like to thank you so much that uh, we thank you so much for your responses for your emails and also you are clicking on your keypads and thank you very much that we are related by the fingertips uh, we are related together and uh, thank you very much so now uh, as you know that it is a morning radio show and it is a radio show on uh, music and literature so it is uh, our radio show so the very uh, i mean the very first segment of our program is going to be a wonderful recital by Ludwig von Beethoven. And all you must be knowing that uh, he was a wonderful music composer and he hailed from Germany and he was a wonderful composer also as uh, we uh, heard today also in Onomotopoya. Okay, so we are going to have this recital, but uh, after listening to this, we are I'm not going to tell you what we are going to uh, present to you later on because you may lose the interest. So hold on to your breath because we are going to we are going to have this recital at first. Then what comes next for that? You have to stay tuned to us. So just keep driving, just smiling, uh, because the day is going to be very, very bright for you. And after that, we are we are going back to you again. So we are here comes the radio recital and uh, by Ludwig von Beethoven. And after that, there is something in our store. Yeah. So I have said that uh, we have now this. Uh, we have now this. Uh, music recital by Ludwig von Beethoven. And then I said that, hold on to your breath. I'm not going to tell you what we are going to have uh, because but, indirectly I am yeah. saying that we have so many it things so, are yeah. in our store. And, yeah, and you can give uh, some uh, indication that a uh, 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 beautiful person, a uh, prominent personality is with us. Let's, you must have known her, uh, for him for her, uh, his painting or whatever for music. So, he, the, so that the audience can, can uh, remain with you. Uh, keep them, uh, I should not say keep them, throw them in suspense. Yeah. That what comes later on, yes, okay? Yeah. But so that so, he thinks that, okay, it is yeah. one Beethoven, what will come later on? Yeah. But so as it's far a kind of index. Hmm. What we have said, it is a kind of index. You gave something, but you did not, uh, I mean, revealed everything. You you uh, give him, uh, the audience, a surprise element, what is coming next. Uh -huh. So that is Radio Magazine. magazine. And in the very beginning, as he said, uh, let's we, we are welcome you here. And but before that, uh, you bring some some uh, title of the program, your medicine program, as it is written here, Rim Jim. So that when Rim Jim, yeah, your title of the program comes, everybody sh should know that that magazine is coming. Rim Jim, that magazine, uh, the title of the uh, the program, what he said. Before that, a credit music with the title has to be there before yes. starting the actual program. That will be your signature tune. They can say signature tune. Yes. So you will uh, be able to know which program is going to be broadcast right. now. Mm -hmm. So Rim Jim, uh, if you will heard about Rim Jim, so you will get to know like uh, mm -hmm. docudrama, documentary. You are going to listen many types of program mm -hmm. in one magazine. In one magazine. So if the varieties are there, yes. it is a radio magazine. Yes. yes. As we turn the pages, like I remember one of my journey to uh, one of the mountainous area of uh, North India. And that area, I remember uh, it was uh, uh, the name I am remembering. Uh, that was not Masuri, of course. Uh, that was a very famous area. Let me remember that. But uh, when we went to that, okay, uh, that was uh, still, I am, I am not remembering, but uh, what was my experience, I tell you. I was told in the beginning, I was told in the beginning that uh, the mountainous area is very nice. When we started going there and, we, and, we, and when we started climbing uh, on the mountain, I saw that there is no any, I mean, charm, I mean, charm at all. I did not see any valley. I did not see any mountain. I did not see anything. Simply, I saw the woodland and I was a bit irritated and I asked that, uh, uh, why do you say that this that this place is very good? He simply smiled and he said that just keep on waiting. So as we, I mean, covered the first round, I started seeing the mountain. Yes. The variety started coming. The variety started coming. And uh, after every round of the mountain, you know, the, I mean, contour or the beauty of the land, that was literally changed. That was literally changed. And then I, uh, yes, now I remember that place was Lansdowne. Lansdowne is a wonderful place. So after when I reached the lands down, then I realized that there were so many variety on our uh, on our traveling actually that we saw. So radio magazine is nothing but it is a collection of uh, uh, 
different formats. Ha, it is a collection of different formats. One can be music, one can be interview, one yeah. can be talk, one can be anything, even yes. the document. Even, document. even the document. Even the so, document. Uh, all the format, any format can come into the magazine. Talk format. But the size of the magazine is small. So every element, it should be, it has to be even smaller. Because many, many type of, uh, many different formats are coming together in the same, in the same magazine. And one more thing to, uh, uh, I mean, uh, tell about the magazine can have the variety of topics, but a uh, magazine can be a, a sp uh, special, I mean, a special edition type. Yeah, a magazine, a program can be different formats on the same topic. Yes. Like we are putting sports, we are taking sports, so we can take uh, different types of format, like a, sp doc uh, a documentary on sports, a uh, fiction on sports, sport, music, uh, a music program on, on sports. Sport. An interview so, on yes. sports. An interview on sports. So the magazine can be We can also bring topic. the success stories. Yes. Yes. Mm. Yes. So the, yes. So the magazine can have a variety of topics. Magazine can have the, uh, the uh, edition. Yes. Special edition. Special edition. So now we are coming to the next and uh, radio magazine is done now. So uh, we go to the next and it is a radio feature. And because the time is running very short now, we have 15 minutes. Uh, feature means we featureize something. Yes. Out of so many attributes, uh, out of so many characteristics, we choose one characteristics. Like the example, we have a wonderful book called uh, Bahuru Gandhi. I give the example of this book again and again, because there is no any other book like this. Yeah, yes. It's a wonderful book. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, published by NCERT, and it talks about uh, the multifaceted personality of Mahatma Gandhi. Multifaceted personality of Mahatma Gandhi, like uh, uh, he was a person, he was a very versatile person, very versatile, I mean, person. Like uh, on that uh, on that particular book, uh, we have more than 20 characteristics in the personality of Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma like uh, uh, Gandhi ji is considered as a writer, Gandhi ji is considered as a saint, yeah. Gandhi ji is considered as an auctioneer, Gandhi is considered as a snake charmer like this. So out of so many uh, attributes of a person, when we focus only on one, then we say that uh, this is the feature. We are going to bring this feature. There are so many things to say about a person, but uh, we are talking about this particular thing only. We are highlighted. Uh, we are going to highlight only this thing. Then it's going to be the feature, feature. radio feature. So like uh, out of so many attributes of Gandhi, if I choose only one, that's going to be the feature of uh, Mahatma Gandhi. So it is a feature format. Next we go. And as the time is coming now, so after feature, uh, this uh, uh, I mean slide is going to be shared with you. So each and every details mm. you have there. Then we come to radio talk. Radio talk is simply talking on some uh, mm. topic. Yes. And uh, as, as the format itself says, radio talk. I mean, it has to be it uh, that uh, concept should be the script should be uh, uh, in talk style you cannot read a, a lesson uh, in the uh, in the name of talk talk means you you are talking to a person uh, um, behind the uh, radiogram uh, i mean you you are not talking to a vast variety, vast range of uh, audience uh, you are talking to a person so the talk is one to one so write a script as if you are talking to a person. Okay, in the multitude or in the crowd, everyone is a person to you. Yeah, yes. Everyone is a person to you. We can say this is also a talk. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. We are right now talking yes. to. No, we are not. We are talking to you. Huh, we are actually talking to you. Like uh, uh, if I uh, have this book, I have this book. Like if I read it uh, in a bookish way. Yes. अंत में एक दिन उन्होंने तय किया कि असल में जो बनना चाहते हैं वह है कुत्ता हां उस दिन वह दिन भर चारों हाथ पैरों पर इधर-उधर भागते हुए दिस इज द रीडिंग दिस इज द रीडिंग दिस इज नॉट टॉक बट इफ आई एम टॉकिंग ऑन दिस अंत में मित्रों एक दिन उन्होंने यह तय किया कि असल में जो वो बनना चाहते हैं वह है कुत्ता उस दिन वह दिन भर चारों पैरों पर इधर-उधर भागते हुए अजनबियों पर भौंकते रहे है ना भौंकते रहे मतलब दैट इज अ काइंड ऑफ टॉक लाइक आई एम लाइक वी आर टॉकिंग टू अ पर्सन वी आर टॉकिंग टू अ चाइल्ड एंड वी आर टॉकिंग इन अ वे दैट अ चाइल्ड शुड लाइक एंड एट द सेम टाइम रिकैपिंग दैट वी आर यूजिंग द ओनोमोटोपोया वी आर आल्सो यूजिंग द सिंपल वर्ड वी आर यूजिंग द वी आर नॉट यूजिंग द लॉन्ग सेंटेंसेस सो दैट इट कैन बी अंडरस्टूड सो इट इज अ टॉक बट वन थिंग इज देयर uh because you are going to broadcast the programs later on it is better to 
call a person who is going to give a talk and to sit with him or sit with her and to make a research script at first yeah. and then to go for the air, yes. then to go on the air. Because uh, just uh, on live, you cannot catch the mouth of anyone. Yeah what you are saying. So that is a talk. Yeah. And talk writing is also a, a format. I mean, you can write a talk also. Write in a way as if you are talking to someone. It ha, is a talk. Ha, like it was said that uh, there is a difference between the bookish language yeah. and the spoken language. Mm -hmm. One thing I want to add uh, in this point, uh, rehearsal is also most important thing mm -hmm. for, for, for talk, talk also. Yeah. Uh, if we will do rehearse what we are going to say, mm. so it will be good uh, and nothing will uh, go unwanted. Okay. Unwanted, yeah. yes. So you can add laughter, smile, yes. uh, breathing. You can uh, use this as you do uh, while you, you fumble a little bit when you talk. Yes. So th all these elements can be used in a talk form. Uh, so in fact, uh, both of you are saying that uh, he is reading. But the audience is not guessing that he is reading. Yeah, yes. yes. He is speaking. He is speaking. Yes. For them, he is speaking. Yes, yes. Spontaneously, but it is written. But it is already written. Yeah. Otherwise, if it is not written, there are chances to get lost. Yeah, get know, lost. There, and, there yeah, are chances to get yeah. lost. Unwanted uh, thing can be aired. Yes. Huh. Anything can be aired. Na? So yeah. we are in the responsible media especially in education. So it is better to write a script for a talk. Yes. Uh, write, but you must sound like as talking. if you are talking. Yes. yes. Writing must be sounding as talking. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now we are now we are coming to the next. It is the Vox Populi and it is the last. And after that, we are going to have an intro of uh, uh, one of the sound editing software. It is Vox Populi. Vox Populi. What do you mean by Vox Populi? I told you yesterday also. Yes, voice of the people. If, if two people are talking, that is called voice of the people. I Vox remember Populi. Vox Populi. <laughs> <laughs> voice of the people. Okay, voice, voice of the people. people. So, voice of the people means what do we ask? What is your point of view huh? about something? That is Vox Populi. You go to some person and you ask their point of view. If I go to a market, what will I ask? Uh, what brand do you like? Uh -huh. <laughs> the price? The inflation. Yes, yes, inflation and the actual price rise and yes. uh, uh, the most, uh, I mean, beautiful shop, anything yes. else that we talk, that means we take the opinion of the people. Yes. Yeah. It is the yes. voice of the people. Like uh, the, yeah, I mean, in the election time, mm. what people do, they go along with their microphone to the crowd mm. and take the interview. Mm. So, mm. Kaun hai? Yes. Mm. who is coming this time? So, we are gathering the voice of the people. Then we will come to the studio. Come to yes. the studio. We add it. Then we add it. Yeah. And then, then we uh, we can put uh, some uh, our uh, I mean anchoring anchoring, hmm? and then we can produce program. and then we can produce the program. So that is talk. So Vox Populi. Huh, uh, that is Vox yes. Populi, right? Mm -hmm. Right for correcting. So <laughs> voice Populi. It is written. Each and every detail is here. So now we are coming to as uh, Monica ji also instructed that uh, before going to that, uh, before going to the next session, we must introduce to you what we are going to talk on the next session. So. We are going to talk about the sound editing software yeah. a little bit. This, this kind of thing is uh, used in magazine format. So what we are going to do now, keep waiting. In fact, we, we presented the magazine. <laughs> we are presenting yes. magazine. So we are coming to the next and it will take just, uh, I mean, 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes, yeah. eight to five minutes. And then uh, we will have a break like, <laughs> I should not say, but now we are coming to one of the, yes. So friends, we, talk in, we talked in volume that uh, how to write, what is a creative script and uh, what are the formats of the program. But now we, are, now we are coming to the practical application of how to record. As all of us uh, know, nowadays very well that, uh, uh, I mean, in the, in the olden, I mean, in the old ages or in the, I mean, previous time, it was very difficult. It was very difficult to record. We used to have the cassette recorder or uh, even uh, having the imagination of a studio was a very big thing mm -hmm. that we will go to the studio and record. But nowadays we have the access to the mobile. Mm -hmm. We all have the access and we can record anywhere, anytime of any person. So uh, in the next session, we are going to uh, have this exercise. Also, we are going to hands-on experience. So slide one. 
Huh. So here we see that uh, these are some professional audio sound editing softwares. Uh, number one sound software is? New Endo. New Endo that we are using here. Yeah. It's very user friendly and uh, very good uh, sound yeah. editing software. Drama can be edited, even the music can be edited. It's a very good software. Number two, we can see it is the Cool Edit Pro. It is also one of the softwares and a good software, but now very less in use. Nowadays, what the musicians are mainly using is the Logic Pro or the Cubase. Mm -hmm. uh, Cubase is also a very good editing software. But uh, problem with these, I mean, problem with these software is that, that uh, they need to have the license. We need to have the license. We need to purchase it. Yes. So the, uh, I mean, uh, uh, what should I say? The, I mean, software which is freely available which is open source, what is that? That software is? Uh, it is a free open uh, source um, for a digital audio editor. I mean, we can add it here. Uh, this is Audacity. Audacity. What are the other features of Audacity? Uh, uh, it is in, uh, you do not need a sound mixer um, for uh, this Audacity. You do not need a, a purchased uh, uh, licensing. So, so you can do uh, uh, editing and uh, recording uh, on your desktop. On your desktop. Next. Uh, what facility it gives when we go to uh, this order city? Uh, do we have all facilities of editing or what? So no, actually, uh, when uh, we are doing it at home without professional uh, setup, so we can use uh, Audacity because uh, by using this, you, we can uh, record uh, by default microphone or we can use external microphone also, uh, local ones, yeah, not very high end. And uh, we can edit, import, export, and we, do, we, do, we can do simple editing on uh, this uh, software. Actually, editing can be done, but uh, what is the other facility in this? Uh, in Audacity, you can mix text by using Envelope. Envelope tool is a, a great tool in this Audacity. So you can mix a uh, track like a, a spoken track and music track simultaneously. That's all. Yeah. Is you there can, anything else? You can use sound effects also. So <laughs> sound effects and you right? can, yeah, yes, and a hmm. multi-track uh, recording, uh, hmm. editing can be done then, uh, in this. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, now we are going to the next. Now we are going to have the next slide because it's it's just a kind of the intro. So, but how to get it? How to get this uh, software? What should we do? Go to, simply go to Google and type uh -huh. Audacity and then download the app. Is it so simple? Yeah, it is very simple. Uh, then? Then if you will take uh, you to the, it will take to you, uh, you to the option mm. and then you install the software. 2.2.1. Uh, 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 then install. And then uh, 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 Windows to, uh, I mean, it, it is a one by one, it comes, do next, next, and you'll go to the uh, software. And now we come to how to begin. Yeah. How to this begin. This is the thing. Huh. So we are going to recite step one and step two uh, uh, in order, actually. So number one, I will say that how to begin. So step one is go to the file and uh, that we will have the exercise yeah. later on mm -hmm. and click new. A uh, new window will appear. Yeah. What should it, I do when it appears? Actually, uh, yes. The same function as you do in when you do Word file or any file. It is the same same step. So it is nothing new in this. So, huh? Uh, when, just, just just go to new. Huh? When we add new, nothing is new. <laughs> <laughs> it comes like that. But uh, when we click new, then uh, what comes? It, uh, a track, a yeah. new track will appear yeah. in which you can record your voice. Or sound, yeah. or you can import. Yes, you can import import also. Uh, but uh, both of you talked only of a single track. Yeah. Uh, is it possible to insert more tracks? Yes. Yes, we, we can insert more tracks more by track. some more, same exercise. Yes. By same exercise. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. So you can insert as many as you can. Uh, yes. As much as uh, you want. You want. Uh, actually, we want according <laughs> to the need of the script. need of need the script. Of the script yes. uh, but it is better in Outer City, which uh, we have experienced that. Uh, we should not go more than, uh, I mean, four tracks, yeah, three yes. or four tracks, because yeah. it is not a very professional yeah. uh, sound editing software. So three to four are okay. Yeah. Rather for a talk, it's very good. Also mm. for a small drama in which uh, there are no uh, much characters, it is very good. And uh, a kind of the program in which uh, the less sound effect is there, yeah. it is good. It is, it good. is good. Yeah, Le uh, yeah. simple mixing. 
for me uh, simple mixing it is good ha huh, simplest are the greatest but simple, <laughs> simple yes. simplest are the greatest the last slide and we see here that uh, how to record that uh, i have said last slide because we are going to record in the next session yeah. yes mm. that's why i am saying so uh, here we see so uh, how to record we can see here that we have two options either by default mic microphone or by external microphone and then click on the red button and then speak recording begins and stop by stop button stop button <laughs> Yeah. or by space bar also yeah. or by ha huh, and and even by the space bars also so <laughs> so uh, so thank you very much thank you very once much. again we are very happy to be with all of you yeah. and dear we friends uh, yeah, we you. really enjoyed being with you and whether did you enjoy or not that uh, we would like to know okay <laughs> i'm actually seeing here that such an amazing session uh, kudos to the trio <laughs> <laughs> so Uh, thank you very much. Actually, this is uh, I must say. Now we can see even the chat box, and uh, all seem to be very happy. And uh, it's a wonderful time being with you. So thank you very much. So we conclude with this: that uh, uh, just uh, uh, I mean, uh, she's going she's going to recite a poem for us, and I am going in in just just listen to me. I'm just going to say very simply something, and she is going to say it very creatively. forest was beautiful uh, and i wanted to stay there but uh, i i could not stay because i had so many work <laughs> woods, woods are, are <laughs> dark woods are, are lovely dark and deep but but i i have, have I have I some have, promises to keep. But I, why? Because mine's to go before. Before I, I sleep. Ha! Huh, before you sleep. Okay. But right. Before you sleep. Ha! Huh. <laughs> so we felt that uh, we we did not allow anyone to sleep. <laughs> Anna, we did the not allow anyone. The art poem. <laughs> Now no more. Once oh. again. Once again. Okay. Uh, so you say that the, that the forest was beautiful. You say. <laughs> forest What? was ha. Huh? Dark and deep. Ha. Huh? Lovely, okay. Forests are lovely, dark and deep. Ah, uh, woods. Ah, uh, no. Forest was beautiful, but I wanted, I wanted to stay, but I could not stay. Ah, huh. say it. <laughs> woods are lovely, but I, I wanted to stay, but I can't stay. Ah, huh. I wanted to say, but she can't say. I mean, she uh, wanted to say here that ah, uh, it seems to be woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and might to go before, before I, sleep. I sleep. I sleep, and we are happy that we did not allow anyone to sleep. <laughs> and also we also kept on talking talking and it was basically what format magazine format this is magazine format it is a magazine and, format and uh, as, as we said uh, fm style we, we talk we laugh we we are spontaneous this is the uh, the style a magazine needs uh, yes. there are 16 elements in yeah. the i mean adornment you know shringar ke 16 sadhan hote hain so all the all the elements all the all the components must be there in a communication very wonderful session uh, okay we are happy why don't you read <laughs> <laughs> very wonderful session super team actually we need an offline class uh, yeah we are very lucky we, yeah. we shall be happy to be there yes. we shall be happy to be there so thank you very much thank you. thank you very much over to monika ji and monika ji thank you very much for all the coordinators thank you very much you. and uh, we are going to see you in the next session thank you thank, thank you. you so much so ab aagya dijiye is samay ajit ko aur vandana rimardan ko aur vimlesh choudhary to hum ek sath aapko karte hain namaskar, namaskar. <laughs> participants have enjoyed so much even in offline in online mode they were definitely going to love it when they will get the opportunity for offline so, thank you Thank you so much. You. We will meet Ajit sir again after ten minutes tea break. So all of you, please return exactly after ten minutes around eleven thirty. We will continue with audacity. Thank you so much. Till then, all of you can download audacity, or maybe sir will tell. So let's see.